this one's called Mind Games, and the reason why I haven't done a story in a while is because I can't find one that the author tried, but it just turned out bad. So I, I broke down, and I went to crappypasta.com, and here's one. I don't even fucking care about standards anymore. Let's do it. Something was different. Off. As I stared at my reflection in the bathroom mirror, I shrugged it off as nothing important and went about my day. Like usual. Could you, I don't know, fucking describe what you saw in the mirror that was different? He's not gonna do it. I drank one cup of coffee, black, just the way I liked it, and drove to my office job in the cities. Excuse me, what cities? What, you, you're in Baltimore by t noon and friggin, uh, what's another city? Candyland by seven? Like, what is this? On the way there, I decided to stop at a gas station and use the restroom. I'm not sure what compelled me to do this, but either way, I did. Maybe, oh, your bowel movements. I stared into the mirror once more and noticed I had aged for what looked like 30 years. And being young, 20-something, it scared the living shit out of me. Well, this fucking escalated quickly. So... He... He just aged 30 years from driving in a car? I'm... C c confused. and noticed that it felt normal once again, and went on with my day. He felt his face, and it felt normal. So I'm just gonna be like, fuck it. Once I got to the office, I had an uncontrollable urge to run into the bathroom again, and as soon as I did, I noticed not only that my face had aged to be what looked like 50 years, my hair was now gray and scraggly looking. Okay, um, so you're, you feel this uncontrollable urge to go to the bathroom, and you don't have to take a piss? Wouldn't that be a red flag to yourself? Like, if, logical mind, right? This thing, force, you know, this urge to go to the bathroom, but not actually use the bathroom? It's, that's not normal. And I'm feeling that this is a mental disorder, but knowing this story, it'll be the spooky spaghetti monster. Once again, I felt my face, and it felt normal. I was beginning to become more frantic and worried, but I decided I wouldn't let it bother me. Fair enough. If, uh, your face feels young, right? Yeah, alright. I went to the bathroom seven more times that day to check on my appearance. Nothing had changed at first, but the fourth or fifth time was different. My eyes began to cloud over my skin, and I'd begun to slowly start peeling off. I became terrified and locked myself in one of the bathroom stalls for the rest of my four hours. Okay, the the great thing about creepypastas, I'm I'm gonna be real for a second. One of the greatest things about creepypastas is the is the ability to put the character in your shoes. They make the characters very general, so almost anyone could hear the story and relate since they have so much similar character traits. And it's it's not like developing the character; it's just whatever character going through a terrifying experience, right? I'm pretty sure most of you can agree with me on that. Is that what you would do? Is, is that what you would do? Would you, if you saw yourself in a mirror and you're like, oh, damn, son, I'm fucking old, would you, would you fucking lock yourself in a stall for four hours? It was finally time to go home. Once I came out again, I looked in the mirror one more time and I was absolutely disgusted. Oh boy, I can't wait. The thing that was looking back at me didn't even look like me anymore. It was grayish, festering skeleton with a few strands of gray hair here and there, and maggots and other insects were feeding on the little tissue of my face remain. I instantly became sick, losing the content from within my stomach. Okay. The story's bad, but the way it just described, I blew chunks. Is it, That's pretty sick. I... Losing all the content from my stomach onto the white tile floor. Like, that is a beautiful way of describing puking. 
I rushed home quickly and checked my bathroom mirror. The only thing staring back at me was me. A normal me. And that's where it ends. What a twist! So, he saw himself in the mirror. Uh, I assume he was uh, decaying, right? Alright, yeah, I assume, I assume he was decaying. Anyway, uh, thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this is the first time I've talked on an end card in a while. Uh, check out uh, the Creepy Outcast channel. We are active again, and it's some pretty quality shit. So, I, I usually don't do this advertising, but it's, I think, I think people like you guys will enjoy it. So, uh, I'll, I'll actually, I'll have my end card dedicated to it, because if you like stuff like this, you'll like the Creepy Outcast channel. -y. We do parody stuff, do some gameplay stuff, it's just us breaking character a lot, so and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, Also, if you guys want to send me stories to like do crappy pastas on, because it, and I don't want troll pastas, right? I want stories that are just bad structurally, but have tried almost, so if you can find any bad stories you guys found on the Creepypasta wiki or just a story that you think is bad, uh, but seemed like they tried, uh, email to me at creepypastawizard at gmail.com and I will take a look at it and narrate it. And, uh, if you want credit for giving it to me or something, I'll, I'll do that. Don't worry about it. Uh, so yeah, that's it. What a twist!